fact, I think Batita's life and work, her ideas uh, have always um, served as a kind of model for the best kind of activism, the best kind of feminism, the best kind of anti-racism. I've had the pleasure of working with Tita for about six years now, and I'm one of the designers for her new book, 500 Years of Chicana Women's History. As, you know, young activists, I think we, it's also important for us to look at um, what another Chicana activist is doing and that doesn't just mean working necessarily as you would traditionally think in the front lines, but also how it is that we can reach large amounts of people through education, through communication, and all of that is part of her activism. Well, I can blame it on my father, who came from Mexico at the tail end of the revolution. And every night over dinner, he would talk about seeing Zapata come into the capital on the, with the campesinos, and everything was wonderful. And that put the idea in my head of, I want a revolution right here. Petita was the founder of the most important Chicano newspaper during the late 60s, Grito del Norte. What I think is so important about Petita's contribution is that she brought a wealth of experience gathered from the civil rights movement, the Cuban Revolution, so that her impact on the Chicano movement was to broaden it and to make it richer. For example, I was speaking at a high school in Oakland. The class was mostly African-American youth, a sprinkling of Latina. And I showed them this video that, I, that was made from my book, 500 Years of Chicano History. And there's scenes in there of Mexicans who've been lynched, bodies hanging from trees. And afterwards, this one young woman in the class said, said, I didn't know Mexicans were lynched like us. We have to be working together more. That's exactly, of course, what I wanted to hear. I see gains made and through struggle. Those gains were made through struggle. And so how can, I mean, there's a reason to keep going. And that level also of having made some gains as well as the heart just insists on it. <laughs> That's the simplest thing. The heart just insists on it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>